Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome to World of Horror. Um, so second episode back from Heck, aka the UK. Uh, American Airlines, where's my goddamn money? Uh, anyways, don't, don't worry about that. That's just letting off some steam. That's just venting into the abyss. Not venting as in imposter among us venting, but like venting as in letting your feelings out. You know, that's, that's what I mean. Anyways, like, whenever you say something, like, vaguely related to Amogus, it's like, oh my god, Amogus, I can't take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do Hunted by the Cult Moriko. I think that's, I think that'll be fun. But yeah, we're, we're just kind of vibing. So, uh, the final Smash character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, to be honest not like I don't want to hamper or like rain on anybody's parade but I don't really have any strong feelings one way or another I'm actually like really impressed like I'm not gonna talk a lot about it so I'm not gonna say who it is in case for somehow you haven't seen it yet and you've been waiting to watch the uh, the presentation for whatever reason um, I'm surprised they pulled it off, to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting that character purely because of copyright. Like, that's that's it. Like, that's really it. Um, you know, obviously I wanted, uh, you know, Reimu Hackery. But we can't uh, all get what we want. Sometimes you gotta take the L and that's fine. I'm an Isabel main anyways. Dexterity. Takashi, second mystery, second enemy light source. So we're actually pretty, like, unless we get to fear, if we get fear festival, I'll think about it. But what we want to do is we want to actually get a flashlight so we can get plus one perception and basically get a part of the lighthouse done. That, that would be pretty nice. So what we can do is we can dress up as Ash from the Evil Dead. We can get money, and then we can take a bath for 5 EXP. I wish that's how it worked in real life. We do have Fear Festival, so actually, doing the dexterity check is completely reasonable. Bulletin Botany, lots of... Like, we gotta do Eerie Eels just because Kana is just that strong, but if we didn't, we'd want to do, like, uh, one of the Roads Closed Mysteries as soon as possible. So we'll go ahead and get cursed once, and then we're gonna go here for the flashlight, because I don't trust... Well, this is incredibly unlikely, not getting a light source from your first roll, but... Wow. Well, that's not the one that we want. Thank you very much. 16% doom for a pretty bad item is not really a good thing. But Moriko specifically can make pretty good use out of plus one perception. So I think... Oh, we got Paranoia. That's pretty bad, actually. That was 3% Doom. I thought that was 2% Doom. Anyways, I'll get the new profile icon out of here. We're, we're doing the ye old conditioning. So... We're just getting everybody used to the idea of a new profile icon. And also, I just want to say that a comment from the last episode may or may not have started a debate between me and Joey about who would be the better mom. Uh, there has even been some social media uh, shade being thrown around. So, you know, uh, actions have consequences. And I, I think that... I, well, listen, obviously I think I would be the better mom, but that's not that's not entirely important for this run. And I'm going I'm going quiet here cuz I'm just thinking like what a good anecdote would be to talk about while we while we're doing some gaming. And that would probably be so I'm working on a paint scheme for my Grey Knights. I, I, I didn't manage to build all of them. I was doing like a, can I build all of them in like a period of time sort of thing? No, I couldn't. It was, it, it was too challenging. Let's go. 
You love to see it. Now, what are we gonna do here? Um, it's quite simple. We're gonna pull out the gat. So I'm working on a paint scheme for my Grey Knights, and it's not gonna be a normal paint scheme. Like, I wanna, I wanna make that perfectly clear. Like, Grey Knights are like silver that's that's their normal paint scheme and then depending on what squad they're in they can have like white helmets or red helmets or whatever right uh, and their power weapons are blue uh, however i looked at a really cool it's about an even chance regardless so we'll take the reason there or sorry that was knowledge i, co I completely clicked the wrong one did i go to the seaside twice by accident i did oops uh, it, I, I have no idea if it'll matter. Second enemy was Apartment Stalker, by the way. Doom is getting up there, which is a little bit of a bummer. So where do we have to click again? It's somewhere around here, right? It's here, and then we have to go over here for the mystery. I'm pretty sure. You're goddamn right. Okay. So it's not going to be a, a typical paint scheme because you could like if you want to know what I'm talking about, just Google Grey Knights 40k and you'll have like the perfect mental image of what a Grey Knight looks like. Usually, they 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 gray. <laughs> they they do be gray though. We'll, we'll go ahead and forget. Or forget. <laughs> we'll go ahead and sell the library notes because I would like to try to. Avoid. Yeah, what we'll do. So, Fear Festival is forest. Bulletin is forest. Botany is forest. So, we should actually consider outdoorsmen. Like, that should be a legitimate consideration if we don't get, um, whatchamacallit. You know, the thing. The fast swimmer, but for. <laughs> fast swimmer, but for beating someone to death with a gun. Absolutely not. I will not take. I will not take Masafumi. I will not take Dog. I refuse. So for my Grey Knights, what I'm doing is I want them to have like a really like bright light blue armor. Initially, I was thinking Cyan, but that's more like Turk or like Turquoise, I should say. But that's a bit more than what I would want. Like I, I don't want green. Right, because turquoise is kind of a green thing. I want to relax at the hotel room to regain my sanity. But there was a, there was a really cool army that somebody did for Grey Knights. I don't know if it was an actual army or just like some squads they painted, but they called them the Daemon Hunters. D A E M O N, D Daemons, Demons. And they were, they were so cool, dude. Like, they were, they were genuinely, this is controversial. They were so cool. Okay, like, they, uh, they're basically, like, they have silver helmets and, like, sort of the normal Grey Knight aesthetic of, like, you know, red purity seals, blah, blah, blah. But their armor was the kind of blue that I want to try to get. Like, I love that blue. I, I absolutely... Oh, but quick thinking, though. Here's the thing, though. We can take Deft Handling, and then we can take Perception. Because I'm not taking minus two Perception right now. Uh, hit the ground running and you don't stop running. Thank you, Iwa. Very cool. So the armor is just like this very bright blue, and I really, really like it, and I want to do something like that. And so right now I have Pro Acryl Bright Ivory, and I think it's called Baroth Blue for Citadel Layer Paint. Don't quote me on that. But I also have some blue ink, like some light, some light blue ink from, I think, Green Stuff World. But don't quote me on that. I got like a Green Stuff World, like, blue paint set, and I think that's where it's from. And so I want to try making like a really bright blue armor like the Daemon Hunters, but I don't want to make the force weapons normal, right? Because that's what uh, most people do, like force weapons, or sorry, not force weapons, they're nemesis weapons. Nemesis weapons are like these blue swords with like lightning crackling through them. They look really cool, but I want them to be... Well, I didn't actually know what I wanted them to be. Like, I was just going to make them, like, blue. 
But then I'm like, well, the armor is going to be blue. So I don't know if I should do that, right? I, I don't know if uh, that's pretty cool. That That's pretty cool. So we're going to take 4% damage anyways, because we would brace, attack, brace, attack. Because we can't attack... We, we actually can't brace and attack, period. So we'll just do this. That's fine. And before we end the battle, we'll recover a couple of reason. Because we have potentially... We'll, we'll recover literally one reason. Because that's how it works. And we'll save the Spiral Hoodie for later. We're not going to equip it immediately. Because Moriko's the only character in the game who doesn't want to equip it. Because of her perception-based weapon, which is really good. So, Apartment Stalker Fear Festival, just to keep that in the back of your minds there. So, we don't have roads closed yet, so we basically just have to do botany. Like, there is no world where we don't do botany, because we get roads closed. I mean, the forest is doomed, too. Imagine getting 4% to 3% doom every investigation. That'd be disgusting. I'm, temp I'm hesitant to even do the school, right? Like, I'm very hesitant. But when you're playing as, you know, Moriko, you, you don't, you kind of stop caring about enemies. So, that's unfortunate, <laughs> but that's okay. So, I, yeah, I want to do, like, a, a bright blue armor, and then I want to do... The school's uh, no threat level. The school's safe, so that's totally cool. That's totally fine to explore, but this is, this is going to be a little sketchy. So I want to do a very light blue armor, and then I want to do for the weapons... I found a really cool tutorial. It was originally for Eldar, but that's not going to stop me. A really cool tutorial for doing, like, purple-pink power weapons. And they look so good, because it's, like, this really, like, dark purple with, like, these, like, flashes of white lightning in them with a little bit of yellow. It's it's great. It's, it's really good. So, like, pink power weapons, and I think that would contrast really nicely with the blue. Because you kind of, you don't want it to just sort of, like, be flat blue. You want things to stick out on the models so that they, like, they catch your opponent's attention. So we can do... Well, no, we can't do that. Yeah, that well, that's about all we can do. So I guess we will brace for impact. But our brace for impact is great because we have 8 strength thanks to our boy Iwa. Our, bo our boy Dwayne the Rock Iwa. And then we can just overkill by two. That's fine. So, I, I genuinely think that Outdoorsman is a very good consideration. Because we got two mysteries to go. But we'll take Daddy's Girl, I think. And then we could start salvaging our dexterity. Because here's the thing. We don't need to put the Spiral Hoodie on until the Lighthouse. Right? So, if we could get to six decks... Actually, yeah. Do I want to do that? Yeah, we got the lump of flesh. I don't need daddy's girl. That's fine. We put one more point into dexterity. And assuming that we don't get any more paranoias, we should be perfectly fine. Doom is calmed down because we didn't get unlucky with certain things. Although that's pretty bad. So this could be the floor where it all goes horribly wrong. I mean, we might as well just get shot, right? So, never mind. Moriko knows the forest. She's good. She clutches. She clutches this. So, our doom could be troublesome here, but I don't think... We'll skip the... Well, no, it's bulletin, so we can't really skip the forest twice. We'll probably have to rely on the lump of flesh to get us some monument uses. And this is a unfortunate circumstance. And this is one of the... This, if you can believe it, this is like one of the weird things about Kana, is the fact that there's nothing else to do than just like no thoughts head empty just smash because we have kana so there's literally no point into blocking and you know dodging is not at all reliable under any circumstance so really you know we're we're just doing what we oh no Yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks. Like, I, I would like another point of perception so we can maybe get that through there. So we can do 18 damage a turn. Because it's actually surprisingly coming up quite a bit. So... Can we just get the heck out of here? 
can only be used when investigating a location. Okay. You should be able to void out of combat. That would be cool. Is there anything that we can cast that would actually take our health down low enough to desperation? No. So unfortunately, we're in this weird situation where... I mean, we have to brace. We go down to... I mean, we... Eh, the lump of flesh is basically getting us out of that one. That's fine. I don't like taking two damage, but... It could be worse. Now, th this is a bummer, right? Like, 63% doom. Uh, it is too risky. So we'll just take the stamina. Like, we can take stamina. We got the lump of flesh. But every time we kind of go through this, we get to a situation. Do I want to fight Shiro? Do I want to use the lump of flesh and fight Shiro? I don't know if I do. Because you have to think about it. The 3% doom that we get for letting him die, minus 1 from Hunted by the Cult, is plus 2% doom worse than, like, taking damage. And because we have to go to the monument, I don't think it matters. Like, I think one way or another we're taking damage. At least this way, the damage is... Daddy's girl. We go Daddy's girl, and then we go Reason, I think. This, this might shock you. Because we go up to 9, 8, and then we can open up the monument. Roads are finally closed. Thank God we got through that. And we'll open up the occult store just in case we need to go grab the thing, you know. The forbidden idol. And actually, we're, we're going to go up even fur further than that because we have the, the bathtub. So we'll do... Yeah, we'll do bulletin. We'll, we'll get bulletin out of the way. Get the prescription out of here. We're never going to use it. Now, we're not fighting the modem. That's not what I wanted to do. Get me out of here. Uh, we're not fighting the modem. So please just get me the forest note and let me leave. This is a charisma check. We lose stamina. We will get a grip because we have eight. But we are going to... We are going to go up. Always help the dog. That's not even a question. So we'll go ahead and do this. Bloated uh, allegedly does minus one reason at the end of a mystery. I've never noticed it. If you've noticed it or you notice it later on this episode, let me know. So we can't sell the hunting rifle. Okay, so getting one fund that early is kind of dangerous. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's actually kind of dangerous. So, I mean, we'll go back. We can sell the flashlight if we have to. Oh, my God. You want to sell a spiral hoodie? Just minus three stamina? Yeah. Now we go back and we sell the flashlight again. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, oh, oh we take those. So that should be more than enough to win the game. That, that should be absolutely more than enough to win the game. Library notes, uh, very bad, but actually good because we can sell them immediately so we're not in Jar of Blood range anymore. And... We can continue looking because we have eight perception. And the flashlight actually saved us there because we rolled a seven. So we actually would have been fine without the flashlight. Never mind, because we rolled exactly a seven. Plus two funds minus one reason. We have we have three spells we can forget, so please don't think that four reason is scary. Four reason is not that bad. Obviously we'll get the most expensive one. We got three funds. What are we gonna do with three funds on mystery four? That doesn't make any sense. Now that's that's pretty awful. So you know what I said about we've gone to the monument enough to uh, win the game. That, that is no longer the case because of Vital Clue. That is definitely no longer the case. Banger, by the way, is the best song in the game. I just, I love that so much. It's such a good song. Okay. I, I want to do like a... The Final Fantasy thing, where it's like, bullshit, and there's just blaring bullets and music. That'd be so good. I think we throw the hunting rifle. It's a shame we didn't get ammo for getting the hunting rifle, right? Because there's no bullets, so there's no point doing this. We have zero bullets. It won't work. Oh, we can, wait, wait, can we just kill him with desperation? I think we can. This will do... No, it won't. We can do 24 at most. Well, actually, hold on. Oh! Well, th there we go. That, that'll that'll do the trick. That, that'll exactly do the trick. You love to see it. So, two reason. That's significantly scarier. Don't, don't... 
Yeah, sure, buy a spell, why not? Can have for ritual? Very bad. It's two funds for one reason. That that's fine, actually. <laughs> that's not that bad. If we get into a Oh, Sphinx could be huge. Sphinx could be huge? Yo, Sphinx could be huge. You love to see it? We have the forest note, right? Thank God for that. I, I didn't check my inventory before going in here, which always makes me a little bit scared. So 81% Doom Mystery 5. Um. Well, yeah. 81, well, 80%, excuse me. 80% Mystery 5. I think we need to curse ourselves for money. Because we really, we really, really need... We're, we're gonna completely ignore patient zero. Like, let me just be 100% honest with you. Panic? I, I don't care. I, I literally don't care. Oh, I clicked out of the game. That hasn't happened in a while. Mainly because for three months I was on a... For three months I was on a, you know, a laptop and that only had one screen. But we, we kind of need... That's... I, I like that. I, I like that more than I probably should. I'm very scared to go back there. Because we need to but I don't want to. Because 78% Doom, that's not enough. Like, that's, like, we're gonna be at, like, 85 when this runs over, which actually might be enough, but it, it's a little close for comfort. Minus two stamina. I think... So we can't... Unfortunately, we can't kill, so we gotta brace for impact. And since we'll be killing her in two turns, it's just, like, why should we even bother throwing the hunting rifle? Because we're gonna kill her in two turns. Like, it doesn't matter. So, I, yeah, like, I, that's, yeah. I, I don't really see a reason to, for treason. I, I wonder how many people actually, like, when they hear reason for treason, do you hear the same thing that I do? So, dexterity is pointless now because we sold the spiral hoodie. Outdoorsman doesn't matter. We could go just full, full perception. I mean, one perception should be enough to, to get 18 damage a turn. So I think we probably just heal. Like, we should have, what I should have done is gone to the monument and see what I needed. But if it was funds, we would have been screwed, because it's going to ask for four funds, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I don't think it matters. I, I, I don't think it matters. So we'll, we'll just take Reason, and then I'll... Uh, monument time. Oh, two funds. Absolutely perfectly fine. We are in Jar of Blood range, but that's okay. I, I think we're just kind of... Okay, here, here he is. It's the boy. Uh, anything but peace of mind, and I think we win the game. So fondest memory, because we have three spells we can forget. Although we do have Cauterize, so we probably should have done the, the, the other way around. We don't have Curse Signs, do we? Yeah, no, we don't, so... Sewing kit's a banger, sure. I didn't even I, I didn't even know you could get a sewing kit there. That's fine. We have cauterize. We we can take reason damage because we can forget cauterize if we get hurt. We can take stamina damage because we have cauterize, so it doesn't matter if we get hurt. There's a there's some sort of logic inconsistency there. Oh no. Oh no, that's really bad, actually. That's actually really bad. Um, so I cast Hunting Rifle. Three damage! I can't believe it. Two to all, we go down to four. Is that enough to kill, though? No, it's not. Well, actually, yes it is, but still. That's still a bummer. Anatomy horror has to do me like that. We're gonna go down to one or sorry. I was gonna say we're gonna go down to uh, Four one But then I forgot that we have uh, first of all we have passive healing because we never went to the the house when we were exploring and we also Have daddy's girl so a lot a lot better than I was actually expecting because we're Moriko, so it's all good So what do we got here? We have uh, second enemy apartment stalker, second mystery, fear festival, dexterity, minus three. Okay, who cares? It's minus three. I actually shouldn't have uh, done the thing. We could have been a desperation for, for Takashi. That's a shame. 
But no, we're good. We're gonna take minus three stamina, and that's it. So we we can just go. Uh, I would have liked to, to be able to throw, and we would we we would even live without the flashlight. Like if we sold that earlier. I wonder if we could void. Do you think we could void? Like this might throw the game, but I want to find out if we can void in the lighthouse. Like that'd be funny. Let's try it, dude. Let's try it. Let's try voiding in the lighthouse. Let's do it, dude. Let's void in the lighthouse. Oh my god. You can void in the lighthouse. That's hilarious. Uh, so, apartment stalker. You you can just you you can just bypass a check in the lighthouse with void. That's new tech. That's new, dude. That's new tech. Hold on, hold on. I got I got it. While you're listening to that, play time three hundred forty hours point eight, and we just learned something new. That's incredible. I mean, I I always presumed you could, but I never really was like thinking, can you? I don't know. Hold on, let me let me do this. Zip. She's in the frame. Let's go. Okay, that's a very cursed playtime. Twenty six zero ten. Yeah, amazing. Uh, you've managed to solve five mysteries, and you've saw twenty two new events. Uh, my favorite new event is arguing about uh, mom status with Joey. Uh, that's yeah, yeah so please break the tie in the comments down below uh my name is in web weaver hope y'all staying safe out there i will see you on the next episode of world of horror uh thank you so much for watching have a good one bye